What's up everybody, it's Alex from Lightman Designs, and today I'm showing you how you can create a starburst effect in Photoshop. This is a really great effect, if you don't know what it is, it's where you have two colors and they're going in a circle, in stripes, wide on the outside, and then they go and meet in the middle. So you'll see what I'm talking about in a second, but this can be a really great effect for a YouTube background, a desktop wallpaper, really anything you want to do. So uh, let's go ahead and make it. So open up Photoshop, make a new document, and my document is 2560 by 1440 because that's my screen resolution however you can make your image whatever size you want it doesn't really matter so make your document open it up open it up and uh, you'll get inside Photoshop now head over to your colors panel here on the left and you have your foreground and background color we want to choose two colors so they should be uh, two colors same color so use a blue and a blue however one should be a uh, light shade and one should be a dark shade so I'm gonna use a blue um, you can use, you know, two shades of red, two shades of pink, really whatever you want to use. But I'm going to do a really deep blue, deep blue as my foreground, and a um, kind of lighter blue for my background. And it doesn't matter if the dark color is your foreground or your uh, light color is your foreground, it really doesn't matter. You just need a uh, dark and a light color that you think will look good together. So now make sure you're on your gradient tool. If you don't see it, you might see a paint bucket. Just hold down on it and go to your gradient. And uh, your gradient should automatically be the color that you set, foreground to background gradient. Um, your, it should be a linear gradient, so that's the first box should be clicked right here. Mode should be normal, opacity should be 100, and um, just make sure reverse is off, dithers on, and transparency is on. So now what we want to do is just start at the top, hold shift, and drag straight down to the bottom and let go. And that will give us a nice looking gradient. So now we want to go into Filter, Distort, and into Wave. So if you're using a, um, it, this is going to depend on what size your canvas is, but um, for mine you can just follow the same numbers if you're using the same size. But you want to adjust all these so you get kind of a stripe looking effect. So the first thing, make sure you're on square for type. And I'll just cha mess around with the um, different numbers here the wavelength. I found what works is if you put the wavelength and the max and minimum wavelength at pretty much the same uh, level here and they're around the same so they should be like one number off so if I do 159 the max should be 160. Same thing with the amplitude just uh, like if you're doing 28 for the minimum do 29 for the max. Scale 100 um, for both. So really you just have to mess around with the number of generators and uh, the minimum and uh, maximum wavelength and um, and you know just mess around with all these numbers is pretty much what I'm saying until you get kind of a st solid stripe going up and down. If it's not working it's probably because you're on sine or triangle make sure you're on square. You should be able to get it pretty easily it should take about 30 seconds. Once you've got that hit OK and you got your stripes going up and down. Now we have to turn this into our starburst effect. Real easy. Go into filter again, distort, and then polar coordinates. And make sure it's on rectangular to polar. If not, you'll get something that looks kind of like that and it looks real funky. So make sure re rectangular to polar, select OK, and there's your starburst effect. So with most starburst effects you do, it's um, you're going to get kind of a pixelated weird inside so there's not much you can do to fix that um, but I personally don't like the look in the middle of it anyway if you really don't mind then it doesn't matter but usually anyway if I am um, doing any kind of design the I'm not going to show that the middle of it because that's really distracting so if I'm designing like a website or something a box will be cl or a YouTube channel you know there's going to be a box covering it over and if you're looking at a YouTube channel that looks like this with a um, starburst effect coming out of it. To me, that looks pretty nice. So I really like this look. So um, if you enjoyed, please give it a like. Give this video a like. It really helps me out. If you would like a YouTube background, I am currently designing YouTube backgrounds for free. Uh, if you are interested, send me a message and basically how I'm going to do it instead of paying because the pricing is weird and I, I don't know. I just don't want to take money for it, um, at least in the very beginning. If you can get me 10 subscribers and prove to me that you sent them to me, and um, then I will give you a free background. So 10 subscribers for a free background. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.